Hello guys, Greg Alba is here with... Jason Horton. Jason Horton, comedian who you've seen all over the interweb. We uh, caught a special screening of a film I very much have been anticipating. Very special. Very special, called La La Land. Fucking love this it's movie. So, I was 35, 40 minutes in, into this and I was like, best movie of 2016. Yeah. The opening scene, I mean, I, I really don't want to give anything away. Ah. Uh, most of the subscribers and the people that watch my videos are based in the US. I have the IMDb pulled up here so I can just tell you the simple log line of this. A jazz pianist falls for an aspiring actress in Los Angeles. Honestly, it's a simple plot. But you, so but much so more. So much more. It's a musical, but a very different kind yeah. of musical. It stars Emma Stone and Ryan, Ryan Gosling. And as you guys know, I'm a huge Ryan Gosling fan yeah. already. He looks good in a suit. He looks and amazing. We look, and we, we look, look better. Better. Better than so, Gosling. Yeah. Right? Right? right. Yeah, right. More like crying Gosling like yeah. when he sees us. Yeah. He just improvised that. He's gonna, you think he'll see us? Um, if you are, I wrote a rap song about you that's on this channel. So check it out. So watch that. Yeah, this movie's done by Damien Chazelle, who did Whiplash and wrote the script for 10 Cloverfield Lane as well. Wildly impressed, wildly Nothing well like those other movies, really. Though. No. No, I mean, other than, you know, Whiplash does have its own musical sense. You saw yes. Whiplash? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it has its own musical sense to it, but this is like a straight up, this is a musical. Yeah. A little um, surreal. Definitely. Yeah. It's modern day, yeah. but it has a lot of homage to like the 1950s, 1940s era of Hollywood. What I loved about the musical choice was it seemed like it's called La La Land, and then you realize early on that title is perfect yeah. because the, the musical breakout scenes are in, are in like connection to them escaping from reality, yeah. going into their imagination, living yeah. in a in a world, but it's not like one of those movies where you're like, you're just living in La La Land. Yeah. Like, but it's like Los Angeles, Los Angeles Land. Yeah, yeah. yeah LA, LA Land. Yeah, oh, I didn't even put that together. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant play on words. I didn't even make the connection that I saw this trailer a few months ago that this was that mm -hmm. movie, and then when I was watching it, I was like, oh, I couldn't wait to see this. Yeah, the few things that everyone says right away is the cinematography looks amazing. And yeah, absolutely. The way they play with lighting, and the way they play with, the, the, the way everything's structured, the storyboards, very stylistic, but engrossing. It's not like you're watching some guy just play with his toys. You're watching a guy who's really carefully crafting a masterpiece together, where it like it really adds to the experience of it. It's not just like, oh, this is cool to look at. It's engrossing and it, it really tugs at the heart. It is like a, an homage to motion picture and jazz music at the same time. Yep. It really is a moving picture. You know, movies are moving pictures. And living and in Los Angeles, picture. even though we just left Los Angeles, yeah. and we're, we're here in Zurich. Like I was like, I, I miss LA a little bit. Yeah, it yeah. made me like miss it. Yeah, it made me appreciate LA yeah. even more. Because when you live in LA, it's easy to get caught up in how kind of like dirty it can feel and yeah. how icky the you know Hollywood can sort of feel itself. Sleazy a little bit. Yeah. yeah, but it does it does bring you back to that vibe of like there is a beauty to it. Magic. There, yeah, there is a magic to it. So yeah, and the musical numbers are fantastic. Personally, I'm not the biggest musical guy. I don't really go out of my way you to watch musicals. You don't have to be, I think. For I really don't think you do. No. It doesn't feel like you're watching a musical yeah. because the music numbers are so like pertinent and they relate so much to the characters that it's just a part of the scene. It's just a part of the dialogue that you, you, you find yourself having a big smile on your face. The first number that yeah. Ryan Gosling, Ryan Gosling sings in this movie. Yeah. He, he sings in it and he, it's really him playing the piano. And the first number that they have together is so magical. Like that chemistry that we saw in Crazy Stupid Love is even a million times more amplified here in this relationship that they developed. Just saying all the right, I mean that's what movies are, they're saying the right things at the right yeah. time, but I feel like it's not its not forced. I really feel like they're having a conversation yeah. as, as crazy and magical as it is. And it's, it's weird because this film could have easily fallen under cliche territory, but it never does. No. It is a magical experience. Emma Stone blew me away. She's fantastic. We, did, in this we were film. talking about like I was saying like she's not a, like a super like traditional hot sexy no. whatever, but she's like you you said relatable. And they use that to uh, yeah. like to her character. Yeah. There's a scene where she's having like a breakdown where she's talking about like she goes to auditions mm -hmm. and someone's like either prettier than her or looks like her but is you know a better looking version of her and stuff. And I, I know you know like we know plenty of actresses back in LA. Yeah. And yeah, it is just like that, <laughs> where you go into an audition room and like everyone looks the same. Yeah. <laughs> but her performance in it was, 
like I was expecting Ryan Gosling to kick ass as always, yeah. and he does. he does. He is fantastic in this film. He gets to show off even more set of skills. And before I saw this movie, I read one review somewhere else because it doesn't come out in the states till like December. But I read one review somewhere else where they said. Ryan Gosling's role could have been played by almost any other guy. Mm, I no don't way. agree with that at all. No way. He really made it his own, his, yeah. his own unique touch. No one else in Hollywood has that chemistry with Emma Stone like he does. I, I did read also that I think Miles, originally Miles Teller and Emma Watson oh, were originally cast. Because no. after I watched this movie, of course, I go and I do yeah, all that. I yeah. look it all up. And for some reason, they, dro they dropped out for whatever reason. Um, I'm really glad they got these two to do it. Not that I'm saying Emma Watson and Miles Teller would have been bad. Yeah. But it, the way this film came out is just, it, it's, it's perfect. perfect. It's perfect. It is hands down the best. Ryan Gosling has starred in two of the best movies of this year. Yeah. And by far, by, like, there is no And he's no different in both of them. Like, Completely different. Yeah, you still get Ryan Gosling in both, but you yeah. get two different versions of it. Because Ryan Gosling's not the kind of actor who usually, like, changes up his voice. Yeah. But he does change up, like, his demeanor. He does yeah. change up the emotional state of the character. Like, it's more, it, it reminds me of more old school actors, like, yeah. Pacino and De Niro where maybe they didn't like change their voice all the time or yeah. change the way they walk and shit all the time but they're still playing a completely different kind of person and you really do get that here too and he, he's lovable he's funny in it um, relatable too because Ryan Gosling's hot that's the crazy hot. thing about Gosling yes. is like that's why I think uh, yeah, women and men love Ryan Gosling yeah. because he is he's, he's so cool he's not he doesn't overplay his charm which makes him even more charming yeah because he's he doesn't force charisma at all in any performance he just he, he, and he understands the genre well same thing with emma stone emma stone owns this movie and i i really do believe she deserves an oscar nomination for this film she is a real i mean like you said we love ryan gosling but emma stone really this made is me really like, her movie yeah i yeah. i upped my emma stone auntie yeah i really felt like he was more of the supporting role in this film yeah. which is fine because it made sense in the in the I mean, context of in this the movie, movie, yeah. And one thing I really liked about it too was, yeah, this is a love story, but it's more than just that because you really do get two individual stories. You get one story about an actress and another story about a guy who's obsessed with traditional jazz and he feels like it's dying in this era. Rather than going down cliche territories or having cliche results in the end, it manages to make to bring big smiles to your face at the same time. You, you might find yourself tearing up. We were with someone who who was like. Crying until the credits were d actually, she was crying even when we were standing outside the theater, and yeah. then she had to go and walk. It's it's like, moving. It's a very very moving piece. But also, it's 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 funny. Like I love comedy. Like, it's entertaining. Yeah, yeah, and even if you know it doesn't, it's not like oh yeah, you know it's it's a little bit funny, but it's really a musical. No, it's funny on a standalone level too, which I really appreciate. Yeah. No sacrifice of the comedy because it's it's got a real it's got a real heart in it. It's oh, real. Yeah. There's real charm. Like I, I was actually thinking about seeing when it was screening again this weekend. Yeah, and seeing it again. I know I'm going to see it again when it comes out. Definitely That's definite. But am I going to see it again? This weekend, I don't know. Because we didn't even mention, we're at the Zurich Film Festival. Yeah, did we mention the word well, We didn't even mention we're we're in Switzerland. That's, why, that's why we're not on my yeah. on the, yeah. like, the set. In LA. We're in my hotel we're, room. Yeah, we're in his hotel room. Even though you have the bigger hotel room. Yeah, but um, it just seemed easier to walk across the hall for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't it. wait for you to experience watching mm -hmm. it for the first time. You ever get jealous of somebody? Yeah. It's like, ooh, you get to experience this for the first it's like, time. It's the kind of movie you want to take people to watch it so yes. you can be there to live vicariously yes. through them. And you'll so, pay yeah. for everyone. You'll send everyone oh, a yeah. ticket, right? Right? Yeah, because, yeah, absolutely. Right, okay, yeah. I'm going to pay. Anyone who watches this video, I'm going to pay for your ticket. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry I made that uh, promise. No, it's, it's okay. Yeah. Shit happens, man. Yeah. And the yeah. dance choreography, the music numbers are amazing. Like, there's, there, it's very much um, homage style. Like, the, like the, what movie? It was like a Ginger of, Rogers, Fred Astaire. Yes. yes that's what I was Yes, that's absolutely. It. That's the per, you nailed it. Yes. And especially that open. Go that, on Wikipedia and look them up yeah. if you're wondering who those people yeah. are. Because yeah. I barely know. You know what I mean? I, I know. You don't them. have to, though. Like, yeah. You're just watching the dance numbers and you just can't help but smile at how, like, great the magic is in there. Yeah. The music's amazing. Um, some of it is not, you know, completely original, but a lot of it is original. Like the song that you hear in a lot of the trailers, um, it's it like, now when I hear, like we watched the trailer before filming this, yeah. and now you hear that song, just like, oh, it's oh, so... no, it just hits your heart, yeah. man. Like it's such a meaningful song. I, I think that song should win like best, um, uh, best original yeah. song at the Oscar. Like, this is an Oscar contender for sure. Absolutely. I'm not a big Oscar kind of guy, like Academy Awards or anything, but this is one of those films where I'm like, I'm really hoping 
this gets huge Oscar recognition because it deserves it. It's, it's a masterpiece in my opinion. I would say though, like, you know, I do a lot of dating stuff on my channel and whatever, but I was like, if you want to take a date to this movie, I think this is a really yeah. great date movie. Oh because yeah. You guys are going to be hopefully hooking up this after is this movie. This the ultimate movie, dude. Yeah. This yeah. is so good. This is the one. You got to wait till December though. <laughs> yeah, and it's PG-13 as well and yeah, and, it, and yeah. like you could it's a good date movie, it's a good family movie. Mm -hmm. Anyone could go watch it. Go by yourself? It. You could go by your, anyone could watch it. Anyone. Um yeah, Damien Chazelle like if you thought Whiplash was great, that yeah. was that's still a more specific kind of audience. It's an R-rated mm -hmm. film. It's much darker. A little more intense, and that's yeah. yeah, definitely. This film has a whole different kind of tone, a whole different kind of emotion, and you know, like I'm trying to come up with criticisms to this, and I, yeah. I can't help but say it does. Like, I mean, it's it's slow. Like maybe the second act kind of it slows down a little bit. Because oh, there's but it things. has to. It has to. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. no. It wouldn't be a movie if it just kept going at that. Yeah. Speed. Because like the first half, you're just you just have a big smile on your face. Yeah. You just can't help but like have this like gentle smile. Like, yeah. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah. But then you know, of course, a film like a real film is gonna go through some dramatic territory. Yeah. So when it starts going there, it does start feeling a little slower. Sure. But you but, need it. But you need it in order for the um, other emotional impact mm -hmm. to be there. And, and for the love to still be resonant yeah. there. So, yeah, I thought this was a masterpiece. Um, uh, if I, I, I make up a rating okay. every time I do a video. Okay. Uh, I'll give you a consensus. Yeah. I got high from getting Emma stoned off this movie. Oh! Oh! Boom. Boom. <laughs> Bump the fisty Jason Horty. Uh, well, how about, uh, man, I was crying for Ryan <laughs> so yeah, go watch the movie when it yeah. comes out. Um, when it when it's actually comes out, I will be doing a spoiler review. Um, maybe Jason and I will still be friends in California. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I we'll mean, there's see. a lot of magic in Zurich too, so who knows? Who knows? Come back what to LA, happen? it's like a yeah. I want to learn how to whistle. Yeah, I know. Learn how to whistle and wear a cool. And Ryan Gosling has a nice voice. Yeah, he's got a nice everything. Yeah, yeah fuck man. I want to see your nipples. Yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. Yeah. You can subscribe to The Real Rejects. You can go check out Jason Horton on youtube.com slash Jason Horton. He does a lot of sketch comedy. Uh, he's collabed on a lot of other channels. Even Lauren Francesca, who's been on this channel yeah. as well. So Jason Horton's all over the web. You can follow him on his social media as well. I'll be in the description box. Thank you for tuning in. There's going to be a little bit more videos coming from Zurich, maybe some vlogs. Who knows? I just wanted to release this first. Catch you later, Alec. Gator. Crying for Ryan. Gosling. I need some like catchphrases. Yeah. I feel like catchphrases do well on YouTube. Yeah. Catchphrase. Yeah, that's good.